The third item needing consideration today is authorize the chair to sign our <clears throat> memorandum of understanding between Mesa County, the U.S. Bureau of Land Management, and Federal Highway Administration, Central Federal Lands Highway Division for the 18 Road Federal Lands Access Program project. We have Laura Page here, our Engineering Division Director. Good morning. Good morning, Commissioners. Laura Page, Engineering Division Director. Um, back in 2017, we received the 18 Road uh, flap grant uh, for um, expanding uh, paving and widening 18 Road from Highline Canal up to the existing BLM camp. Um, campground. Uh, that road is maintained by the county. We have a right of way through the federal lands for this. Um, so uh, the uh, improvements to this road will serve um, both the bike, basically the um, bicyclists and the campers that utilize um, all the bicycle tracks and um, road up um, on 18 Road up to the campground and um, beyond. Um, this is the, hopefully the final MOU the, um, since 2017 to now, the um, original cost has increased significantly. Um, the county is providing a match of 17.21%. And uh, we have uh, that roughly 2.8, 2.9 million in the budget for this. Um, uh, the, Design is complete and the project should go out to bid this uh, summer for construction during the fall. And the BLM or the federal lands is um, uh, managing the design and construction of this project. So I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks, Laura. Do we have any questions or comments for Laura? What was the original cost of the project in 2018 when we got the grant versus today? Uh, Nine million back then, and now it's about 16.7 million. Yeah, so almost double. Yes. Glad to still have the money, but yeah, if the federal government can work a little bit faster, it'd be happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what happens when you deal with the feds. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Laura. Does the public have any comments on this item? Madam Chair, I just might add uh, this is a a great example of a project that coordinates uh, numerous local governments. Uh, the county, of course, has a right of way and apply for the grant. The BLM has a resource management plan up there that back in 1718, they were also revising. They revised it to allow additional campgrounds, additional recreation up in this area. And Fruita uses this area considerably for the Pat Tire Fest and numerous other activities around. Like so, so this is a great example of a, a project granted. It can take a long time to come together, but that has come together in an area that's been identified for our community for recreational purposes and the agencies all managing that have had an opportunity to move forward. So, so I'm glad to see this project finally moving forward and um, it will allow uh, much greater access for our, our families and other folks and others that wanna recreate out there. And, and meanwhile, as I said, BLM has created numerous mountain biking trails along with some of their partners and has added additional campgrounds and Fruit has had a uh, work to be able to have an event center for uh, many of the mountain bike activities. So again, just wanted to point that out that this is one of those uh, projects you'd like to see go forward. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry, uh, be very busy. Kind of interesting. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. Thank you, Laura. We appreciate it. Um, seeing no, no other public comment, I'll entertain a motion to approve the item as entered into the record. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries.